Hey there, internet. Keith here, and welcome to the Cars Keith YouTube channel. In this video, I'm doing something that most people don't do, and that's admitting a mistake. I've hidden this for a little bit, but I felt like it's just best to show you guys the mistake I made and how you can prevent it. Now, I don't claim to be some pro-level detailer that knows everything. I am learning just like many of you as car washing enthusiasts. One of those many types of products that I've learned about and use quite often are spray on, rinse off sealants because I don't like to touch the car in my drying process with anything. I just like to hit it with a leaf blower. I'm using DI water to rinse, so if there's any water left, it's not gonna spot. One of those products that I'm using most recently is Quick Beads by DIY Detail. You use code CARSWITHKEEP to save 10% on their website. The other product that I used to use a lot and I still use is Easy Coat by G Technic. Now the application for Easy Coat is a little bit different. This is a bulk container, but normally it comes in a bottle with a spray head and you hook your hose to it. You hose down the car with it and then you turn the chemical off and then you use the same apparatus and then you rinse the car off. But truly you can run this 20 to one out of a spray bottle and get the same results. The DOI detail has graphene in it as well. So make sure you shake it up really good. Get that stuff off the bottom. Both of them are amazing products if used properly. Another really good product that I've used before in this category is Gion Wet Coat. Same thing, spray on, rinse off. Now we showed you the products that are in this category. Let's show you how I use them improperly. On Helen here, my wife's 440. Now normally I always do a thorough cleaning and that's the biggest thing for these. That surface has to be very clean because you are never touching that surface again. Once you put the chemical on, you're rinsing it off and that's it, unless you do a drying process. I don't understand why you would do a manual drying process with a drying towel or a microfiber with these products. I would suggest you use CTV3 from G-Technic. Uh, a lot of people use bead maker. Uh, a lot of people use ceramic gloss from DIY Detail. Those types of products because you're spraying those on, you're wiping them down, and then you're kind of buffing them off. The point of these to me really is, like I said, spray on, rinse off, dry with a leaf blower. That gives you that hydrophobicity. It makes it easier to dry the car off, gives you a protective layer, but keeps you from having to touch the paint. So every now and then I do what's just called a foam and rinse. Really bad pollen outside during the springtime, just after a drive in the rain, something where I don't have enough time to do a full wash, get the buckets out, everything else. Just I already have liquid in a bottle ready to go. I foam it down and then I rinse it off with the pressure washer. My problem with that is I always got so much in a rhythm when I'm doing my other washes that I would throw some G-Technic Easy Coat, yeah, we detail quick beats. The problem is, if that surface is not fully clean, you are now sealing the dirt to the car. And that's what I did. Now, if it's the first time you've done this, not so hard to take care of. Some super clean, some really nice, strong uh, APC cleaner, even polish if you have paint. This is a satin wrap. I can't just go and polish this with a polishing machine. Well, you could, but it would no longer be satin. My problem is, is I stack these coatings. So every single time I wash before my drying process, I add these, spray on, rinse off. I've stacked them over and over and over again. So that dirt, every single time is sealed in. So every time I wash the car and I wipe it down, I'm not getting all the dirt off. There's a road film on there that has been sealed to the car that stays there forever. And I started noticing after I cleaned the car, when I got to certain lights, I'm like, why do I have like streaks? Why do I, does it look like I have hard water stains? And they're not hard water stains. I sealed the road film to the car not just the dirt, the residue from your soap. Rookie mistake, right? And I probably just did, wasn't thinking when I did it. Now to me, this is really dirty. It's been in the rain a couple of times and dried off a couple of times before the last wash. I just haven't had time. Because we're just gonna do our normal wash process with my mitt and then I'm gonna show you under that what it's like. As you can see, really dirty. Lots of road film. And this is the kind of rose film that once you get that loose dirt off and it leaves that film film, I sealed that in. And we're gonna see that after we wash this off, doing a proper wash. We're using our SPTA foam. I did a video on that recently. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link for the video below. But we have a G Technic eye remover, a W5, and some G Wash, and some W4. Kind of all four different kinds of G Technic soaps. I have lots of that in bulk. Uh, that's kind of my maintenance wash to help get this off. So we have all purpose in there. We have an iron remover. So we have a little bit of everything.
Definitely much cleaner. That's what I would call my foam and rinse. Let's foam it back up and then we'll use a mitt. We've got our wet mitt. I'm gonna put some foam on there on both sides because we'll swap about halfway through so we don't make sure we don't get too much dirt moved around. Now that chemical concoction I made is actually pretty good, but you'll see right here, see that haziness? That's that sealed in dirt. Now right there, I used a dab of super clean on a microfiber and wiped it down with my finger. You can see how it cut into that haze. We definitely have layers and layers of built up road film. That's what we're trying to avoid here. Now some areas is worse than others. Now I washed on this rear quarter panel. You can see all of this stuff did not come off with the mitt wash. So here we go, super clean. And then we're just gonna take the dry side and wipe. As you can see here, that super clean cut through it, but even it's still hazy. And we still have layers underneath that. And like I said, this is full strength, super clean. I wish I wouldn't have done this, but you know what? We all make mistakes. Just gonna spray it on the surface here. I would never directly spray full strength super clean onto a surface. Now, after I do this, I would definitely do a foam and rinse again after that to make sure we get all of this really alkaline um, chemical off the surface. We don't want any white residue, especially on rubber, on sealants, uh, in plastic, that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna, and I know this is, people are cringing, this is gonna scratch, but this is a wrap, so. And it's so damaged already, I really don't care. Probably in six months or more, maybe close to a year, it's gonna get replaced anyway. We're not letting it sit, so it probably could clean better if we let it sit. You can see we have that area where we wipe with the super clean. It's gotten through that haze, but even then there's still more under there. We showed you that haziness and everything that's from those coatings just being sealed in and sealed in and sealed in. We had washed them down a good bit to where there weren't like little droplets and stuff, but I've seen that on the car. Now I wish I would film this a couple months ago when it was really, really bad. Since then I have not done any sealants. I have been constantly breaking down those coatings with APC cleaners and all kinds of stuff. Pretty soon the car is going to be looking amazing again. So I hope you can learn from my mistake. There's nothing wrong with these coatings and you can make this mistake with C2V3, ceramic gloss or anything if you don't get the car properly cleaned. But those aren't as bad because you are using a microfiber or something to wipe it down. So you are kind of wiping the dirt off as you're spraying it or as you're doing your drying process. So don't forget to check the links below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And as a reward, like I say in every video, there's something here, a blooper, a preview, or a giveaway. Now there's a little bit of two different things here. Active just released their short gun. It's available on pre-order. I have a link below if you want to check it out. If not, they have a review model coming to me. I also pre-ordered one. Now, what am I going to do with this extra spray gun? Well, I have an active VE56 sitting there waiting to do a giveaway. Maybe we'll just add a hose and give somebody a complete kit. Now, down the road, that will be a giveaway. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to do it. Probably the same way as normal, but be on the lookout for that.